The Carolina Panthers Friday injury report had tight end Hayden Hurst, who suffered from issues related to a concussion suffered in week 10, now being placed on injured reserve for the remainder of the 2023 season. In other moves, the team also placed offensive lineman Justin McCray, who was sidelined with a calf strain on IR as well. With regard to this week's matchup with the Atlanta Falcons, tight end Ian Thomas has been ruled out due to an ankle injury. And among the six players that did not participate in Friday's practice, safety Xavier Woods and linebacker Amari Barno have been listed as questionable for Sunday's game. Brian Burns, Sam Franklin Jr., and Itor Gross Matos were all limited participants on Friday and listed as questionable. The Falcons will be without right tackle Caleb McGarry, who has also been ruled out for Sunday's matchup. The weather possibly becoming a factor for the passing game on Sunday raises concerns for the Panthers' offense that has already struggled to throw the ball, but it's something interim head coach Chris Tabor believes his squad is ready for. Well, I think, you know, the weather is coming in. That's what, that's what they're saying. I'm going to kind of rely back on my uh, uh, years in the AFC North and NFC North. Uh, and I, that hopefully that comes into into play there. We're looking forward to it. We're going to embrace it uh, with regards to the passing game and, and all those things. I think those are things that you just have to evaluate when you get out there. And as you build your plan appropriate for the team that you're playing, you also begin to put into things how we might have to adjust and, and but yet still yet still stay with the same concepts that you want to stay with. And I think that uh, our staff has done that. So. Uh, like I say, it's, it's, it's an unknown right now, but, but we'll see how she plays. And despite no longer being in contention for a playoff spot, Tabor is sending the message that wins still matter. Obviously, we're in a very tough time and, and get that. Um, this, is, this is the time of year where you are being evaluated not only by your own front office, by 31 other front offices, depending upon what your contract status is. So how you play in these tough times, I think it says a lot about you. Anytime you're keeping score, you want to win. The guys have been doing the process right. I've been proud of them in, in that area, and I, I can't fault them. Um, at the same time, as, just as a, as a coach, and you kinda, you're, you're pulling for them to, to, to see some rewards. And uh, we ha obviously, we haven't gotten that. And that's been disappointing. But uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? You, you're not, you can't compromise about it. You know, you can't sulk about it. You just got to keep going. The Panthers host the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday, December 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern at Bank of America Stadium. That's your Carolina Pro Football Report on ADSN1.com and 730 The Game. I'm Kevin Tolford.